Joining me now for our P-Wolves profile is one of the newest members of the Nebraska Wesleyan men's basketball team, Clay Reimers, a junior from Lincoln East who transferred from Concordia. Clay, uh, tell me about your move to Nebraska Wesleyan. Um, well, it was definitely a fun transition to Wesleyan. A lot of the players on the team welcomed me right away, just like I was one of them. Um, so far, it's been a treat to be on this team, to be part of Nebraska Wesleyan. So. I've enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to the future. Yeah. Making a move to the national champions, uh, not a hard thing to do. It's not. I mean, a lot. we've talked and practiced a lot about how there's a target on our back, and we're going to get everybody's best shot. So we just got to focus on every game, and like we're going to get the best shot from everybody we play. So. Being from Lincoln and uh, so close uh, at Concordia there, you, you've had some guys that you've known here on the team. I, I bet Ryan Garver is a guy you played against when he played at Northeast and you played at East. Yep, I did play against Garver a lot in high school. He is a heck of a competitor. And those Lincoln East versus Lincoln Northeast games were some tight games, and me and Garver have battled a lot. And I'm, I'm happy now to be on his team because he's a great athlete and great player. So, Clay, what do you bring to the table? You're 6'7". And you've kind of stepped in where Dion Wells Ross has left, who was the, the five guy, the center guy, you might say. But yet you shoot outside too. Um, I think I can help the team in rebounding a lot. Um, guarding the other team's biggest player is what I think I can bring to the table a little bit. Um, also, like like you said, I'm six seven. I got a long wingspan. I can get out and the passing lanes, get some steals for us, some deflections, and like shoot from the perimeter. So I think I can help the team a little bit. So. Your brother Brian, a wide receiver on the Nebraska football team. Um, did you play on the same teams in high school at Lincoln East? Um, I did play with him on the varsity basketball team for one, for one year when he's a senior and I was a sophomore. And I didn't play much as a sophomore, but it's still pretty cool just to be on the same team as him and just like following his footsteps a little bit. So, What uh, is, was the competition like between the two of you when you were in high school? Um, well, he was a lot bigger than me. He's bulkier. He's a football player. I'm a basketball player. So if you were to ask him who's a better basketball player, he would say me. And who's a better football player, obviously he is. So it was fun competing against him a little bit in high school. So I wish he was a little closer to age than me so I could beat up on him a little bit. <laughs> but it was fun, though. Your dad, Bryce, and your mother, uh, Suzanne, uh, were they involved in athletics, too? Uh, yes, my mom was actually a swimmer at Wisconsin, and my dad, he was a heck of a golfer in high school, and he played one year in college, so I get most of my genes from my mom. My dad was a golfer, but I didn't want to follow in the golfing footsteps, so. Uh, coach uh, Fleming, the swim coach here at Wesleyan, tells me that uh, maybe uh, it was when your mom was an assistant with him that he had some of his best success. Yeah, I I've heard stories that my mom was a pretty good swimmer. I don't know if she's a good coach, but sounds like it. So she wanted me to swim, and I just didn't have a the itch for swimming, I guess. So basketball was the way I decided to go. So what's in your future after Westland? Um, well, I'm getting a business degree from Westland. Hopefully, I'll graduate by next year. And right now, I'm not really sure what I want to do. So I'm exploring my options right now and just hopefully getting a job first year out of college and working from there. So All right, well, Clay, good luck to you in the future. Welcome to Wesleyan. Thank you. Appreciate it. OK, thanks very much. Clay Reimers, our P-Wolves Profile. And P-Wolves Profiles are brought to you by Joy Sherwood, financial professional with Central Financial Services, Andy Van Horn and the Van Horn team at State Farm, Rotella's Italian Bakery, Emo Flooring, just south of Highway 2 on 14th Street, the Wild Bird Habitat Store, and Leach Camper Sales.